Day 21. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Psalm 1-3. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29-11. Let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Psalm 35, 27. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. 3 John 1, 2. It is important to cultivate the promise of God over your life that he is for you, not against you. The enemy doesn't want you to prosper in anything. This is how you know that you are meant to. Granted, in a God's economy, he doesn't bless wickedness and won't grant wishes based upon lust. He's not a genie or a fairy godmother. But this is aside from the fact that he continually has our absolute well-being in mind. He'll do whatever it takes to bring out the best in our lives because this glorifies him the most. He cultivates the new nature inside of us, protecting and nourishing it with the water of the word so that it grows, matures, and bears fruit to the fullest extent possible, Ephesians 5.29. Allow God to speak to you over your life and ask him to remove anything you have believed which is self-defeating, any words from the enemy or even people that cause you to doubt the good plans that he has over your life and his desire to prosper you.